My name is Seth Ressler. I am the Digital Dot Connector at Jacobs Media Strategies. And in this short video, I will show you how your station can start creating online content as part of a content marketing strategy to grow your website traffic. First, a quick refresher on how content marketing works. Step one, create online content. We want this content to be easy to share on social media, easy to find in search engines, and easy to talk about on our airwaves, so we can use these channels to drive people to our website. Once they're there, we want them to take an action that generates revenue. Click on an ad, buy tickets, etc. Now in this video, I'm going to focus on the first step, creating content. To do this, we're going to launch a blog. When I say blog, don't think of a teenager in their bedroom writing an online diary. A blog is just a section of the website that is regularly updated with new content. In this respect, Paris Hilton's site is a blog. So is the Huffington Post. Even the New York Times website is a blog. Before you start writing blog posts, it's a good idea to envision the audience. Who are they? How old are they? Where do they live? What are they interested in? Gather together everybody who will be writing for your blog and brainstorm a list of characteristics to make sure that you all understand the audience. While you've got the group together, develop a list of content guidelines. What topics are you going to cover? Are there topics you want to avoid? Is there a minimum length for blog posts? Are you trying to strike a specific tone? Write up these guidelines and distribute them to your team so that everyone is on the same page. You'll also want to spell out the editorial process. Who's going to write the blog posts? Will anybody look them over for mistakes before they're published? How will they communicate with each other? And how much turnaround time will they need? Think these things through before you start and you'll save yourself headaches later on. It's a good idea to gather your staff together for regular meetings to discuss your station's online content. Take a few minutes to review your website analytics and see what type of content is performing well. Then, assign upcoming blog posts to your writers. As a blogger, there's nothing worse than having to write something and not knowing what to write about. A good way to avoid this problem is to develop a list of possible blog topics in advance. I also recommend using a content calendar to manage your blog. A content calendar is just a spreadsheet that shows who's writing what and when. This makes it easy for everybody to see what's going on at a glance. When first launching a blog, set modest goals. If you set aggressive goals and miss them, everybody gets discouraged and they can easily burn out. It's better to set the bar low, clear it, and then raise it over time. Remember, the best content is easy to share on social media, easy to find in search engines, and easy to talk about on your airwaves. Creating compelling content on a regular basis is the first step in driving traffic to your website.